Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTO mailbox. And Dr. Lori joins us now. The theme this week is all about kitchen chic. We're starting with something that packs a punch. I'm so curious. Oh, and but look wait, <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about your table. Look at your jewelry. We know you love jewelry. You, you. must be in heaven. Thank you. <laughs> yes, because you gotta have the chic, right? So we're bringing the chic and we're just putting it in the kitchen for you guys. But you know, any time is a good time to give jewelry, David. Um, what is, is that an emerald? I love that she always says my name at the end of that. To give jewelry, David. Is that an emerald bracelet? Is it an emerald bracelet? This above Where? the Chanel box. On top of the Chanel box. You're right. But the oh, this way. one. No, it's actually enamel. But you know, I could put a I could put your name on it so you could have it. I'll send it to you. It's beautiful. Yeah, very well, chic. Well, then I got to send it to you. All right. Well, let's right? start first with our item, um, a punch bowl sent in by Carol. Carol sent this punch bowl. It's American made from the 1970s. It's a nice piece. It's in very good condition. It has a scalloped edge, right, that repeated pattern on the top. It's etched and frosted. It's in good condition. I don't see any cups. Now, mm. you said it's from the 70s, um, yeah. but does it have, it doesn't really have a 70s style. It has a style that sort of harkens back to an earlier time, right? I agree with that, David. Very good. Very good eye. I would say that this has a 1950s style, um, and, but it was made in the 1970s. Uh, a lot of people like punch bowls because they'll use them just as centerpiece bowls without the cups. Uh -huh. But in terms of value, you usually want to have the set of cups. And with punch bowls, you usually have 12 cups. Um, why did punch bowls go out of style? Did people why stop throwing did... parties? Yeah. Is it, why were are there punch bowls out of style? Too many flies went into punch the punch. Bowls Punch bowls were in style, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, went out of style until about the 90s, early 2000s, they're coming back. But punch bowls go in and out. I think punch wasn't in, I don't know. I mean, I would say sangria was more, a little bit more popular, and that's yeah. usually pitchers. Right. Oh, that's true. yeah. Well, it's nice to hear punch bowls are coming back. All right, I wrote down my number, David. <laughs> number, David. Okay. Nah, I'm very okay. I don't know. I said $35. I went higher than that. I said 72. 75 is what it wow. is. Wow. Oh, I was three off. Oh my gosh. That's exciting. All right, next up is a, it was exciting for me. Uh, dairy cooler <laughs> sent in by Kevin. That's so what this is. That's what we were looking at before the break. It's a dairy cooler. What does that mean exactly? Well, you're going to put your dairy in it. So I don't know. I, growing up in Connecticut, we had a, a, a milk pail. It was like a milk box. And in the very old days, how old I am, they would actually take a glass milk bottle. They, the, glass, the milk was in the glass bottle. They put it in the milk box. Um, but for certain, um, certain restaurants or diners, they would use these particular types of keep them cold dairy products. So this would be sort of for a general store or a restaurant or a small diner, that kind of thing, like a mom and pop. Um, notice the lid has Pittsburgh without the G, without the H and with the H. So this oh. shows you that they're using an old logo without the H in Pittsburgh, and then they're actually uh, indicating the newer uh, design. So this piece dates to the middle part of the 1900s, about 1950s, 1960s. Um, but a typical piece of Pittsburgh history, it's not in bad condition either for having been outside or possibly in a basement area uh, for quite some time. I just don't know. Like, I, do... I think people will be drawn to it because of the one Pittsburgh without the H. And I think people will think that's very historical. I said $70. I said $130. Right. $75 is what it's worth. Oh. Tied up as we get to our last one, a jar <laughs> sent in by Michelle. It looks like a jar, but it's actually a pickle caster, also oh. known as a pickle uh, ves vessel. Hand-painted Mary Gregory glass. If you look at the glass, those hand paintings of the white enamel on the red glass indicates, of course, uh, the tradition of Mary Gregory, who was a New England artisan, a glass artisan. So people look for Mary Gregory. Gregory glass. It's silver plated with the original tongs. You put the pickles inside the glass 
and use the tongs to get the pickles out. Mm -hmm. From the early years of the 1900s, a lot of people collect pickle casters. Do you like pickles? I like pickles. I, I love like pickles. pickles. Yeah. <laughs> and that's gorgeous. It really is. All right. right uh, you guess. 175. I said 75 because I've been paying attention to the prices today. $100 is what it's worth. Oh, David wins this uh, week. Okay. I thought everything was going to be $75. We thought so. That's, that was my thing. Dr. Nope, Lori, thank today. you so much. Okay, it's coming at you, Heather. It's coming at you. I oh, love wow. you so much. You're amazing. Dr. Lori, we love it. We love talking to you. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.